And that's it, and they're away. And Le Destin was slowly away. Pintar was a little bit slowly away too. And classic cliche and Frankie de Tori have gone to the front of the far side with Helicio right up there. And Helicio's now taking it up. It's Helicio, the leader from on the outside, Bill Sutsky. Just in behind them, Charmid in third place. Zagreb is fourth. Just in behind them, Leonilla. Then on the outside is Frankie on classic cliche. He's dropped back to about sixth place now. The back markers are Tamore and Ledesta. And Pentar has only got three behind him. And apart from uh, Ledesta and Tamore, those are Polaris flight. But they're racing uphill now. And as they do so, it's Alicia over on the far side from Pilsudski. Then moving into third, nearest to us is classic cliche to Zagreb over on the far side, followed by Leonila. Then comes Charmit, and then Darazari on the outside, on the inside is Radapor. Alicia towards the left of the picture as we see them now from Pilsudski. Towards the right is classic cliche. Just in behind them, Dazari. Then over on the far rail, Zagreb traveling well and also Leonila. Nilla traveling very well too. They're beginning the run downhill now, a long run towards the home turn and still Helizio who's made virtually all the running so far from Bill Sutsky in second. Then Leonilla on the inside, Zagreb on the rail. Oscar Schindler's making a little bit of progress now. Then classic cliche towards the outside. They're running down towards the turn. And as they do so, it's still Helicio, the French train favorite from Zagreb on the inside towards the outer. Is classic cliche with Bill Sutsky, Leonilla just in behind him. Radovor still well in the picture. Pentar is stuck on the fence and trying to make progress on the inside. Darazar is making progress on the outside. Coming down into the straight now, well into the straight, it's Alicio, the leader from Pilsudski in second, then comes Leonel and then Zagreb on the outside. There's Darazari making good run, and here comes Charmit with a run too, and a faller there is Polaris flight, but it's Alicio clear. Alicio has got absolutely clear of his field. Olivier Pellier is going to win his first off the trail. Alicio getting a terrific roar for the crowd. He's going to win this in tremendous style. Pilsudski being challenged for the minor places but he just holds it may be from Oscar Schindler Oscar Schindler and Bill Sutsky in a photo for second and third and just behind them came Swain and Luna Wells and then Ledesta who was slowly away and I'm looking down now to see if John Reed is all right he had a, a horrific fall on Polaris flight who's sad to say has broken a leg about a quarter of a mile out so the result of the 1996 Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. First, number 14, Alicio, owned by Enrique Sarasola, trained by Elie Lelouch, 44-year-old Tunisian-born rider of 170 winners himself. Second, well, it's a photo. The judge has uh, called for a photo, quite understandably. It's a photo between Pilsudski, ran a great race up there in the van all the time, number five, owned, owned by Lord Weinstock, trained by Michael Stout and ridden by Walter Swinburne. And here they come to the line, and Pilsudski's just held Oscar Schindler, who's third, Swain was fourth. So third, without any doubt, under a great run, uh, Oscar Schindler, owned by Oli Lahan, trained by Kevin Prendergast and ridden by Cash Asmussen with number one Swain ridden by Thierry Jeanne fourth. But what a triumph by this son of fairy king by Elise out of Sloopy. Helicio, winner now of six of his seven races, should be seven out of seven. Just uh, the one that got away was the French Derby when uh, he ran a bit too free. Great run by Bill Sudsky and a fine run by Oscar Schindler, running on really strongly at the death. Not too far behind the placed horses was uh, Charmit, the English Derby winner, but this is some horse. And a great moment for Olivier Pellier, 25 years old, his fourth ride in the race. He's the champion elect of France. And what a thrill for him. Sadly, John Reed 
has to be stretcher borne back. But he did uh, push the blanket away as though uh, he felt that he was perhaps uh, not too serious a case. What a triumph for Olivier Pellier, the champion jockey elect in France. His first arc triumph for Elisio. A sixth success from seven races, his only defeat in the Pidu Jockey Club. And what sort of price do you put on this horse now? What a moment for Enrique Sarasola. This son of Terry King, an Irish Bay stallion, and a horse that was bought at the foal sales originally at Deauville although uh, Enrique Sarasola breeds most of his own stuff uh, in Spain but this horse was bought and uh, what a wonderful job Eli Lush has made of training it well let's watch them jump away again Pentire very sluggish again that's him with the red sleeves last of all as they leave the stalls a very similar story to the King George when he was back towards the rear but on that occasion of course he uh, ran on and went one now that's Alicio going into the lead with a yellow jacket Phil Sutsky up there in the very light jacket on the outside vying for that lead Frankie is on uh, classic cliche in the blue jacket running third Shamit just in behind fourth Look at Zagreb on the far rail in about sixth position, pulling very hard for Mick Canan. Wouldn't settle in the early stages at all. Leonila just behind them. That's Swain on the outside in Sheikh Mohammed's colours, maroon with the white uh, sleeves. Just ahead of Tamure, the one with the white sash on the outside, widest of all. The green cap at the rear is Polaris Flight. Next to him is Oscar Schindler. Pentire in the stripes with the red sleeves. And Lodesta is last of all. But Halicio takes them along the back of the course. And this is where Olivier Pellier, who has been the making of this horse, he settles him well in the lead. And he's going to coast along as they start to make the first turn. Yes, he's really dictated the pace, Olivier. Hasn't gone particularly fast. Uh, not fast enough, perhaps, for Zagreb, but who ran pretty free early on, who's got a perfect position there in third or fourth place. Pentau well towards the back of the field. And uh, Oscar Schindler only has one horse behind him at this juncture, which was uh, Le Destin. But just here, Olivier Pellier just uh, gets a little bit of a breath into his horse. Pilsudski in a lovely position in second. Zagreb is third. And look back to the tail of the field, and you see Oscar Schindler right at the back, last of the 16 as they sweep past the four furlong marker there. But uh, Olivier is still dictating it, Walter still hopeful. Frankie's got a chance there on Classic Cliche in the fourth place, and Darazari just making a move and tracked by Pat on Charlotte. So it's Alicio out in front here. It's been a, a very adventurous move taking him to the lead, but it's been a finely judged maneuver by Olivier Pellier he goes for home now two furlongs to go a look at the acceleration he shows Alicio he opens up a gap of three lengths on Phil Sutsky and he's going away he's one of his three strides really fine acceleration and coming right away for an emphatic victory in the Forte Meridian Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe goes away the jockey Olivier Pellier loses his cap he waves to the crowd it's been a fantastic victory that's a stunning performance when we talk about the great arc winners this one is going to be an equation from now on because he's won by five or six lengths in an arc which had all manner of top class horses in it but for Olivier Pellier the climax of his career which has burgeoned in the we could only be delighted that he hung in there and, was, and he was second you probably would have won more starts you had a close look at him at the end though there yes um I just saw him take a false step when he came into the enclosure but his, his shoe it actually hasn't spread it's just a little bit loose the inside of the near fourth plate so no big problem we'll let the blacksmith just tidy it up what about this horse though the winner Halicio tough well he, he has such a gear change you know he's tremendous did you expect him to, to sort of go out in front I thought it very likely especially from his draw because he's made it before and he seems happy doing that so I thought he would make